What's going on YouTube? Gia right here. So in today's video we're going to quickly discuss about a brand new vulnerability that will be released for iOS in the near future and that might be usable for a jailbreak. Before we get into that, this video is brought to you by Whatsapper, which is an application that allows you to transfer your WhatsApp and all its conversations and attachments from your Android to iPhone. So if you've got an Android device and you want to switch over to a brand new iPhone, then this is the perfect application to transfer WhatsApp between Android and iPhone with no problem. You can find it in Google Play and of course they also have a computer application that can do the same thing but with a computer. So definitely check it out if you want to transfer your WhatsApp stuff. So the vulnerability I'm talking about is this one by PeterPen0927 here on Twitter. They announced it a couple of days back and I actually reached out to this developer by DMs and I asked them if they're going to release this and what this is. And they indeed have confirmed to me that this vulnerability was patched in iOS 15 beta which means that it was patched in these versions here, but it would work for 14.7.1, 14.7, 14.6, 14.5.1, 14 14.5 and 14.4 in its subversions. So it might be usable for Uncover or Torin or even the Project Manticore or Manticore jailbreak here. So that's actually pretty interesting. Now here on Twitter they didn't give a lot of information, they said quote, my bug patched in iOS 15 beta tips XNU IPC inspired by this person here and they posted this photo basically showing iOS 14.7.1 on iPhone 12.1 and of course they show crash log and stuff like that. So they did successfully run this on iOS 14.7.1 which is currently the latest version confirming in fact that it was indeed patched on 15 because it works on 14.7.1. Now a lot of people have indeed sent me this and asked me what this is because of course of course, this person seems to be a security researcher at Alibaba Security Pandora Lab, which means that they are indeed legitimate. It's not a fake account or anything like that. They do work for a real security company and they did find a real bug. Well, while I talked to them on DMs, they told me that the bug is a type confusion and it might be reachable from the sandbox or it may not be, but they believe it is. And they also said that they will provide a POC or proof of concept and the information about how this works in the future. So so they are indeed planning to release this at some point. They give absolutely no date when they're going to do that or whether they 100% will do that, but they did not say they will never release it. So that's a good start. Now being a type confusion, it's hard to know how important it will be for jailbreak purposes. Without seeing it, without seeing the proof of concept and without seeing whether this is indeed reachable from the sandbox, it is indeed pretty hard to say what this will be usable for. But if it does turn out to be useful, we might be able to use it for Uncover, we might be able to use it for Torin and even for Project Manticore, which is currently in development but waits a proper kernel exploit in order to be updated for 14.7, 14.7.1, 14.6 and so on. Yes, I know, for the people waiting for a jailbreak on these versions, the situation has been pretty dry in the past couple of months. I do see that there have been a lot of exploits and vulnerabilities announced but not a lot of them released. That's the way it is, it's unfortunate, we gotta wait, there's not much we can do other than just getting an Android device, but why would you do that? So I guess at this point we just have to be patient. A lot of vulnerabilities were indeed announced, they will probably be released at some point, but yeah, the situation is indeed dry, so we just have to wait it out. Thank you for watching, I am Geosnow, thank you for your patience and peace out.